Hi, my name is Mr. Evangelista, and in this episode, we're going to use Newton's Third Law to draw free body diagrams for a system and its environment. Let's take a look at a first simple example. Let's look at a block at rest on a surface. Well, it turns out that there's more to the block than the surface. We have to look at the environment as well. So we have the block, we have the surface, and we have the, we have the entire Earth. So let's see, we have the block, the surface, and the entire Earth. So let's draw some forces, identify some forces here on the block. We've got force of gravity downward, force normal upward, and those are the forces on the block. Now this force gravity, if you remember Newton's third law, is that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, and this opposite reaction happens on a second object and is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So we need to create force pairs. So this force of gravity has a force pair. If the earth is pulling down on the block, then we also have the force of gravity up from the earth because the block is pulling up on the earth. And if the surface is pushing up on the block, that means the block is also pushing down on the surface. So let's identify these force pairs with some dashed colored arrows. So again, if the block is pushing, or if the earth is pulling down on the block, the block is also pulling up on the earth. Also, if the block is being pushed up by the surface, that means the block is also pushing down on the surface. Let's take a look at another example. Let's have a man pushing a crate across a rough floor. So again, let's break everything down. Let's start off with a crate. We've got downward force of gravity, or we call them in a box, upward force normal. We've got this rightward force applied by the man, and we're going to resist that sliding with the force of friction. Let's do it for the man. We've got force of gravity on the man, force normal on the man, and now when his feet push against the floor, it's force of friction that pushes him forward, prevents his feet from sliding. Now when the man pushes on the box, the box is going to push back on the man. We've got, if the earth is pulling down on the man, the man is also pulling up on the earth. Same thing with the box. If the earth is pulling down on the box, the box is also pulling up on the earth. And if the surface is pushing up on the box force normal the box is also pushing down on the surface force normal same thing with and force of friction if the box is has friction to the left because of the surface then that means the surface has friction to the right because of the box let's do the same thing for the man if the surface is pushing up on the man that means the man is pushing down on the surface and if there's friction between the surface and the man to the right, there's also friction from the surface of the man to the left. <coughs> and so let's identify our force pairs. First off, notice that this force applied here, however much the man pushes on the box, the box also pushes back on the man. So that's the first one. What else do we have? We have the force of gravity force pair, so as the box is pulled down by earth, the earth pulls up on the box, and same as the man. As the man is pulled down by earth, the man pulls up. As the earth pulls down on the man, the man pulls up on earth. What else? The force normals, we have upward force normal on the box, we have downward force normal on the surface. Same thing for the man. Now, Notice these force frictions right here, they might seem like they're force pairs, but they're not. That's because this force of friction is between the man and the surface, and this force of friction is between the box and the surface. These are not force pairs right here to each other. Instead, the force pair is the force of friction of the man and the force of friction of the man on the surface. As the man pushes on the surface, the surface pushes back on the man. That's what the force pair there is. Same thing with the box. As the box slides on the surface and causes frictional force, the friction causes frictional force on the box. Okay, one last example. This one we have a truck towing a cable which tows a car and the surface in the earth. 
So we have force of gravity. So here are the forces on the truck. Force of gravity down, force normal up, force of friction allowing the car to move the truck to move forward without slipping, and the force of tension because of the cable. Here are the forces on the car. We have force of gravity downward, force normal upward, the force of friction opposing the motion or the sliding, and force of tension, the cable pulling the car. We have the earth. Since the car is being pulled down, we're also pulling the earth up. We have the surface. Since the surface is pushing up on the truck, the truck is pushing down on the surface. We are writing the force pairs for the force of friction. Same, let's do the same for the car. And notice with this cable, if the cable is pulling the truck, the truck is also pulling the cable. And same thing for the car. Now, let's identify the force pairs here. So these force tensions here, these are force pairs. As the car pulls on the cable, the cable pulls on the car, and as well as the truck. We have our force of gravity force pairs. Again, as the earth pulls out on the car, the car also pulls up on the earth. Same thing with the truck. Our force normals, as the surface pushes up on the car and the truck, they also both push down on the surface. And lastly, the force of frictions. As there is friction between the truck and the car on the surface, there is also friction between the surface and the car and the truck.